Hi friends. Welcome again to my YouTube channel. Hope so you will be fine. Big thanks for liking our content. Today we are here with a very important topic. That has very huge losses in dairy industry. Let's start our today's video but before this. If still you haven't subscribed our channel. Please subscribe our channel. Thanks. Ok so today our topic is mastitis in dairy animals. Mastitis is the main reason for economic losses within the dairy cattle industry. And it is the most costly disease affecting dairy cattle throughout the world. First of all you should know what is mastitis. Basically mastitis is the inflammation of the mammary gland and udder tissue. And it is the most common infection that occurs in dairy industry. And it has huge loss in production with high veterinary treatment costs. Mastitis changes the composition of the milk that makes it unfit for human consumption. Before going into further details we should know the causes of mastitis. So what are the causes of mastitis? Basically mastitis occurs due to udder infection it may be due to any cause. But mostly causes are bacterial infection that results due to contamination. During milking or through environment. About 70% of infection are bacterial infection. 28% causes are unknown that contain some physical causes like trauma and weather extremes. And 2% chances are the yeasts and molds infection. There are about 140 microbial species subspecies and serovars isolated from bovine mammary gland that causes mastitis. There are two major groups that causes mastitis. First is the contagious mastitis. And the second one is environmental mastitis. Questions arises what is contagious mastitis and environmental mastitis. So basically contagious mastitis is the cow-associated form. Where infected cows are the reservoirs for bacteria. And spread occurs cow to cow at milking time. While the experimental mastitis is environmental infections. Acquired from bacteria in the environment of the cow. So that means that pathogens that causes contagious and experimental mastitis are different. So here is the types of pathogens that causes mastitis. The pathogens that causes contagious mastitis are Streptococcus agalactii Staphylococcus aureus Streptococcus dysgalactii Mycoplasma bovis Beta hemolytic streptococci Coronibacterium bovis and that causes environmental mastitis are Streptococcus uberus Streptococcus bovis Streptococcus dysgalactii Enterococcus facium Enterococcus facalis Escherichia coli Moving forward next is the process of infection. Organisms that causes mastitis gets entry through the teat canal. Then they migrate the teat canal and colonize the secretory cells. Colonized organisms produces toxic substances that is harmful for milk producing cells leading to inflammation. Next is what are the health concerns of mastitis? Mastitis affects animal and human health both directly or indirectly. If we talk about animal health lack of functional quarter leads to lowered milk production. At the end culling or death of animal. It affects human health by poor quality milk. And antibiotic residues in milk that causes antibiotic resistance. Next is how is the udder if there is infection in it. There will be. Marked swelling. Increased warmth. Gangrene. Abscess formation. Atrophy. And some systemic effects due to inflammatory mediators. As the udder is affected so its effects can also be seen in milk. First of all production will be decreased. Second is the presence of products of inflammation in milk. And obviously composition of milk will also be changed. Question arises in mind that how will we determine the severity of mastitis? Basically there are two types of mastitis. Subclinical mastitis. And clinical mastitis. About 90-95% to 95 cases of mastitis are subclinical mastitis. While 5-10% to 10 are clinical mastitis cases. In subclinical mastitis udder and milk both appears normal. But the production will be decreased with elevated somatic cell count. This type of mastitis lasts longer. 
but in clinical mastitis. There will be inflamed udder. With clumps and clots in milk. Clinical mastitis has two forms. Acute and chronic. Acute form is major type of clinical mastitis with signs of bad milk, loss of appetite, and depression. Prompt action is needed in this case. In chronic form cow will appear healthy but there will be bad milk. Next thing is how we will diagnose mastitis. We can diagnose it by physical examination cow's id tests and culture analysis. In physical examination there will be signs of inflammation. Empty udder. Differences in firmness. And unbalanced quarters. In cow's id test you can go for. California mastitis test. Wide side test. Surf field mastitis test. If you want to know about the details of cow's id tests. That can be performed to diagnose mastitis then. Do mention in comment section below. Culture analysis is the most reliable and accurate method. But it is costly. Next one is the treatment that how can we treat the mastitic animals. Treatment depends upon the type of pathogen. But we will talk about general treatment. Strip the quarters every two hours. If there is high temperature gives antipyretics. Treat animal with broad spectrum antibiotics. Use anti-inflammatory drugs for inflammation and pain. And the last one is the control and prevention of the mastitis. Here are 10 steps if you follow these steps you can avoid mastitis in your herd. First one is to prepare the cow for milking. Use pre-DIPs of iota 4 or any other pre-dipping agents. Such as chlorhexidine E.T.C because it can reduce risk of infection up to 70%. Second one is to have a good milking system. Milking equipment should be adequate in size. Functioning properly, and regularly cleaned and maintained. Third is to apply and remove machine carefully. Properly adjust to prevent liner slippage. Remove machine when cow is milked out, shut off vacuum at claw before removal. Fourth one is to dip each teat after each milking using a germicidal teat dip. Post DIP seal the teat ends temporarily for 6 to 8 hours. It is must for long-term mastitis control program. Fifth is to monitor your somatic cell count regularly. Take action when increases occur. Next is to treat clinical cows. Seventh is to segregate chronic mastitis cows. Milk them last, cull when necessary. Cows with chronic mastitis serve as reservoirs of organisms. And could infect susceptible cows. Eighth one is to dry or treat each quarter using partial insertion techniques with an approved dry cow treatment. Ninth is to keep cows clean, udders free from soil and manure. And avoid swampy areas. And the last one is to properly feed and care the cows. So this was all about mastitis. If you liked the video give us a thumbs up. Now you know what to do. Yes please subscribe our channel too. Thank you very much.